empty space. Hello YouTubers, another YouTuber, Ed Bray, asked me recently, um, rather than cut the case uh, on a Chinese clone um, like this, is there any way to um, mount two batteries under the existing case? Um, is there space? Well, I thought, because I've got two batteries, um, I'm probably one of the few people that can answer this question. So I went out, got some bolts and um, some washers today, gave it a go, and it seems like it's doable. Doable, but with some provisos. Um, the goal is to raise that plastic case away from the board and to do that um, I need some longer bolts. So I went to the local hardware shop and bought some. Now the middle one is the um, original and that's just not long enough to encompass that gap. The one here is a bit longer but um, isn't long enough. This one is just twice the length and does the trick. That's what I've used all around the board. Um, having said that, the um, plastic is soft and if you over tighten it, or it takes a lot of weight, in other words, the second battery, um, and you squeeze it in and camp it together with these bolts, there's a good chance you can go right through this plastic. So this is what I've done as a test. Um, ideally, if I was to take it out and ride it, what I'd do is get longer bolts still and have washers. So that goes like that, the bolt goes through, and the bolt will go into um, a metal insert in the wood, so that's quite secure. And that way you can clamp this whole thing together. Um, you don't have to go mad, you don't have to go too tight, um, but you can secure everything um, securely. The other thing to note is that that gap, um, it's large, very, you can't ignore that. Um, I'm not going to pursue this as a modification, I'm going to carry on with that. But if I were to pursue this and try to permanently fasten two batteries under the case, I'd probably use some neoprene tape. Um, some single sided stuff, very thick, or two layers, double it up, and have that all the way along the edge. Um, probably draw around the edge of the case with a um, felt tip pen, remove it and place some thick neoprene tape along the whole edge of the uh, casing and then when you fasten the casing in place via the long screws it should clamp everything together. Uh, it won't be waterproof, uh, well, I doubt it, but it would be a lot better than that. The ground clearance um, is lessened. Um, but not significantly, and um, those batteries will still be covered, so, and that doesn't bother me quite so much. Something else to keep in mind, when you put the two batteries together, so, it's still flat, I mean the form factor is it's good, I like it, um, but the top one won't fit in the battery compartment, so it will slide around. Do make sure you tape them together. Uh, and better than I've done it, this is just a temporary thing because um, I'm going to take them apart again. So if you do this, do make sure it's much more secure than that. And excuse this mess, um, nothing's fastened in position and um, <laughs> don't do that. I was just playing around with a few ideas, um, so ignore that mess. Charging the batteries in parallel. Um, this is a done thing, done all the time. Uh, using the appropriate charger. People wire those um, together in parallel and those um, together in parallel to the charger. Um, that is for off board charging. If you have these batteries mounted permanently in here, you don't really have that luxury. Um, unless you go for the effort of trying to have some sockets here and some extra wiring. Um, Technically, the onboard BMS could do it. Um, you could wire those in parallel to that. You can even buy um, adapters, so no soldering is required. 
And the same for this, into that. Um, technically that's definitely doable, but I'm not sure you'd want to. Um, if you remember from previous videos, this is a weak part. Um, it blows um, because it's trying to um, restrict the current going to the motor. And it'll still be doing that job. So this weak point is still going to be there. Uh, I, I wouldn't pursue that. I'd get rid of this completely and do off-board charging. But if you are going to do that, do make sure that the specifications of both batteries are very similar. Um, when you uh, parallel charge two battery packs, um, what happens is the parallel cells in each battery, say for example that's cell 1 in that battery, and that's cell 1 in that battery, they'll be charged together as a single unit. So you want them to be fairly similar, so no disparity occurs. I also don't know what will happen with the um, feedback mechanism um, for the amount of juice left in the batteries. Um, the indicators uh, on the handheld control, um, the two lights, um, tell you how much charge is left in each um, battery. This one tells you for the onboard battery, and that one tells you for the um, handheld controller itself. I don't know how accurate this would be if you have two parallel batteries wired up. So there you have it. Um, I'm not going to carry on with this modification, um, but like I say, because I've got two batteries, I thought I'd do the uh, physical test to see if they fit, and they do with the appropriate modifications of the case. And the whole issue of the uh, BMS, whether to leave it on board or have off-board charging, that's for you to work out. Um, I'm not going to carry on with that one, um, I'm going to carry on with that one. And the next video will be about off-board charging of the battery on that board.